Having laid the groundwork of optimization concepts, we get to our first application, energy theorems. So we start from our uh, Tonti diagram, consisting of displacements, deformations, internal forces, and external forces related by B, E, and B transposed. And we write the corresponding equations. In the first assignment, we added uh, deformation due to temperature changes, we add that too. And then from these equations, we eliminate delta to get these two equations. Now completely separately, we consider the following optimization problem. Minimize 1 half F transpose E inverse F plus delta thermal transpose F subject to the equilibrium constraint B transpose F equals P. So this one-half F transposed E inverse F is called complementary strain energy. So graphically, it's the area above the uh, force displacement curve. Um, now, in the nonlinear case, the difference between the complementary energy and the energy is more clear. So in words, this minimization problem reads, of all the internal forces that satisfy equilibrium, that's the constraint, find the one that minimizes the complementary energy. Now this is the cons equality constraint minimization problem. So let's apply our recipe. So first we formulate the Lagrangian function. Um, so objective function plus the Lagrange multiplier mu times P minus B transpose F. But because this is many constraints, we do mu transpose. For each constraint, there is a Lagrange multiplier. So it's mu transpose. And then mu transpose B transpose F can be written as B times mu, the whole transpose F. Then we write the gradient of the Lagrangian equals zero. That gives us E inverse F plus delta thermal minus BU, B mu equals zero. Um, check that this in fact is the gradient, uh, just as an exercise. Then we write the constraints. We see that these two equations are identical to what we got from the Tonti diagram with um, u being replaced by the Lagrange multiplier mu. So the complementary and uh, the principle of complementary energy is actually contained in the Tonti diagram and displacements are nothing but Lagrange multipliers for the equilibrium constraints. Now we construct the dual problem so we start with the Lagrangian. Which we then rewrite in this way, collecting the quadratic linear terms in F and then the term that doesn't contain F. And then we recall that the dual objective function K of mu is the minimum over F of the Lagrangian. So to do the minimum, we take the gradient of the Lagrangian, set it equal to zero. When we solve, we get F equals E times B mu minus delta thermal. So we substitute this into K of mu. We collect terms. So the next few steps of this calculation are simply substitution and collecting terms. And in the last step, we get minus 1 half mu transpose B transpose DB times mu plus mu transpose B transpose E delta thermal plus P. And then minus 1 half delta thermal transpose E delta thermal. And the B transpose DB we immediately recognize as the stiffness matrix K. So the dual problem is to maximize this K of mu. And this is equivalent to minimizing minus K of mu. And we can also ignore the term 1 half delta ther thermal transpose D delta thermal because that's just a constant relative to mu. So we get this unconstrained minimization. So in words, of all the displacements, 
find the one that minimizes this total potential energy. So the total potential energy principle is the dual of the total complementary potential energy principle. Now there may be constraints on displacement. So for example, consider a situation where there's a bridge deck um, resting on uh, thermal expansion bearing uh, offset from an abutment um, separated by a distance u0. So the displacement of the deck is constrained by, for example, um, u greater than or equal to minus u0. So displacement kit cannot take on any value, it can only take on certain values. So we modify the statement of the energy theorem as of all the admissible displacements.